Humans have struggled to survive, but those living in these conditions, they have fought to live. The arid and semi-arid conditions make life for every living organism difficult. For humans, it's the hardest. And practically nothing lives here in this hostile environment. This is a desert in Iran. And if you want to survive here, there's only one way. The key to survival lies in the hands of these people. These are the people that transform this desert into bustling cities. People that usually lose their sight for working underground and people that live in the darkness all their lives. Calm and steady as they go in tens of meters underground, braving their lives every day to bring livelihood for others. These are the people that bring water to the cities. These are the people that dig khanats, the veins of the desert. As I went to the city of Yaz, seeing the hustle and bustle of the city, I wanted to know more about what made these cities exist. The first place I visited was the water museum in Yaz. And the first thing that amazed me it's amazing how deep down they went. These people practically lived underground. With the number of rooms in this house under the ground level, one can realize that life existed more below the surface than above. And the water from the canals would come in the basements and go from one home to the other. We're at about 30 meters underground, and still people used to work in these waterways to get water. The underground system was dug by hand over decades with the simplest of tools. The technology was developed by Persians about 3,000 years ago, and the technique spread along the Silk Road eastwards towards China, and also westwards to as far away as Spain. Canots are hand dug tunnels that begin in the foothills of the mountains and wind gradually downhill to bring water to the homes kilometers away. A horizontal tunnel with a gentle slope that partly cuts through the aquifer. The slope was quite sensitive, as if it was too steep it would wash away the tunnel and if it was not steep enough the water wouldn't flow, so it was quite an art to make these canots. Everything here was based on this technique and the water had many uses. To cope with the summer heat, people in Yazd used to have water in their basements to keep it cool during the summer days. Sometimes, together with wind towers, a continuous breeze was available in the summers. The water power was also harnessed to drive underground mills. In the desert, there is no surface water, so they would use the water from these underwater canals to turn the mills. Because of Iran's extensive history on Ghanats, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has founded a center on its research in Iran. Head of the center, Mr. Semsar Yazdi, told me how many active Ghanats there still are. In the present there are 37,000 Ghanats in the present. And these 37,000 Ghanats, 7 million meters of water are filled with the water in the country. And how much energy was being saved by them? And how much energy was being saved by them? یه محاسباتی هم ما یه وقت انجام دادیم که اگر این 7 میلیارد متر مکعب را در واقع می‌خواستیم از طریق پمپ یعنی با استفاده از سوخت فسیلی یا انرژی الکتریکی می‌خواستیم استحصال بکنیم به 800 مگاوات برق احتیاج بود به بار دیگه یعنی به یه نیروگاه بسیار بزرگی احتیاج بود So not only was this water bringing life and crops but it was also saving the environment by making one less power plant but making these canals isn't the simplest. Those that worked here, the Moghannis, were ready to die every day. For me, walking in this canal for several meters was the most I could do just to get a feel of what these men went through. This is a canal that they have dug 28 kilometers from here to reach the spring of a mountain. Just walking in this condition for several meters was difficult for me, but these men worked here and dug for years in this posture, and their journey wasn't meters, but kilometers. Mr. Labof Khaneki also told me about the oldest canal in Iran that is located in northeastern Iran dating back to 2700 years ago and he said it still has water in it. The deepest canal is located in the province of Khurasan. The deepest canal says the canal of Qasab Gunabad. Uh, this canal I mean the deepest point of this canal is about uh, 
um, uh, 300 meters deep. Every kilometer took about a year to complete, but the longest took centuries. The longest of Iran is the longest of Iran, which is about 80 kilometers, and the service of it is about 1,500 years ago. Looking at all the hard work done, it seems it's all worth the while. Now with the help of these ancient water conveyance systems, many cities today are green because of the canals handed down by their ancestors. People that dug these knowing their grandchildren would use this water and not themselves. These long stretching trees and this water are the result of decades of work underground by hardworking men. This is not normal water. Pedro Khodadi for Iran. The veins of the desert. Inabarafshimbut.